Okay, so I thought I'd make a quick update video of the progress that I've been making. Uh, so let's get started. Um, the first thing that's changed is that uh, I've combined the fillet and chamfer uh, gizmos into one. So once you start pulling on one side, it's the fillet, but if you switch to the other side, it's the chamfer. Um, the dialogue here on the left, oops, that was a bit embarrassing, has uh, instructions for what things mean. That is a bit ugly looking right now, but uh, you can, for example, add uh, these various settings and, and voila. Okay, so the next thing I have added is a symmetry modifier. Now, symmetry modifier is not the same as like a mirror command because what it does is it's a sort of live modification as in Blender. So uh, a modification to one side is, al is always propagated automatically to the other side. And so you can see on the left, there's like, will be a stack of modifiers. And this is very experimental for now and it barely works, but, uh, but anyway, it's a good uh, way to get started. Now, the next thing I've added, let me just apply the symmetry modifier and give a little bit of history. And then I'll do a Boolean there and a Boolean here. Mm, there. Okay. Now, the next thing I've added, as you'll see in this lower uh, right-hand side, is a, a, a sort of construction history of the object. And what you can use it for is to make quick selections. Um, for example, that's the mirror. This is the original object that's created. This is the fil first fillet that we did. But it also allows you to go back in history and create a copy of the object at a point in time. So for example, I alt clicked here, and now with the, we the mouse wheel, I can go back and forth through the construction history and see um, how the object was constructed. So this is um, not the same as modifiers. It's not like truly a non-destructive workflow uh, because what all I'm allowing you to do at this point is like here I can right click and uh, you can bring back the object at that point in time. So for example, uh, let me delete that and do that again. Let's get back just this guy. Um, so now I can have a copy of like an old history of the object alongside the new one. It, it's useful for understanding how you constructed something or how someone else constructed something. Um, and you can use old geometry to like Boolean union things back together. Uh, what else is there? I've added a sort of file loading and unloading, which I didn't have before. And there's saving finally works now as an automatic backup. Uh, yeah, I think that's, that's it for today. Cool. Uh, the month of September is going to be the month where I focus on stability, bug fixing, and a little bit performance. Um, and then hopefully by October 1st, I'll have a, a pre-alpha that I can share to get feedback from you.